Right, everybody, welcome back to a brand new PDC Joe video, and today we're gonna be taking a look at a new standard Yen Mega Break Vespa Quinn deck, or Yen Mega Vespa Quinn, whatever you want to call it. We're gonna be looking at it, and we're gonna be seeing if it's good. So, this is actually a deck that ended up winning the World Championships in the Seniors Division, I think, but that was before this new standard format hit. But when the standard format hit, we lost not really much. I mean, the deck didn't really lose too much. The most it lost was really Battle Compressor and Muscle Band. But you can still make the deck work in standard, in my opinion. So let's take a look at it. So, Yamega Break is a Break Pokemon, which is not very good. Most Break Pokemon are just tossed to the side, except for Greninja and Trevenant, because you can get those things out really quickly. But other Break decks, like Pyro Break, there's, you know, Empoleon Break, ho -Oh Break, just stuff like that, they're kind of just tossed aside. But with Steam Siege, we actually have some decent Break Pokemon to work with, um, and Yamega is one of them. Yamega is a really good Pokemon, um, and Yamega Break is pretty good too. But what makes Yamega Break nice is, one, it allows you to give your Yamega more HP to work with, because with Yamega, it's a good card. But not because of its attack, Salt Boom, just because of its ability Sonic Vision. So if you have four cards in your hand, you ignore all energy in the attack cost of each of this Pokemon's attacks. So basically, if you have a four card hand, you can do Assault Boom for zero energies. And what it does is 50, but if that Pokemon has a tool on it, it does 120 damage. And it also works with Yen Mega Break's Barrier Break. If you don't, you know, if you have four cards in your hand, you can do the attack Barrier Break on Yen Mega Break for free. So you can do 100 damage for no energies, or 120 damage possibly with no energies if you have a 4 card hand, which isn't hard to pull off in general, but with cards like Judge, it just makes it super easy and super, super good. It's just a really good card. It's got a weakness to Lightning, which is decent because some there's not really many good Lightning cards right now other than the stuff like Jolteon, Raikou, and Pikachu EX. Um, and it's just a good card to play, especially thanks to the break to help it out. So that is our kind of main line, but we need a partner. There's partners you can use like Zoar, Raichu, stuff like that. But we're actually going to be going with the Vespaquin combo that, you know, still won the world's championships with. So Vespaquin kind of isn't that good anymore thanks to the loss of Battle Compressor. People might run it with stuff like Klefki and Unknown, but in general, Vespaquin is not that good anymore. You'd have to really... You'd have to really think of a good way to play Vespa Quinn to make it work. So it's not that good anymore. Thanks to Battle Press for going bye-bye. But in this deck, it could work. Not only can Yamega Break work well, but if your opponent knocks out an entire Yamega Break line, that's three Pokemon going to your discard pile. And especially since this is our main attacker in the late game is Vespa Quinn, you could have like up to like three Yamega Break lines in your discard pile and also other stuff like Shamans and other combis Vespa Quinn. So that can add up. You're not going to be doing an insane amount of damage, but it's still enough to work. So I don't know if you want to go with a 4-4 Vespa Quinn line, but we're going with our 3-3-4-4-4 three, three, four, four, four line. You're probably like, well, yeah, but Yamega yeah, Break still isn't that good because, well, it's still, like, technically a stage 2 Pokemon without the rare candy to help it out. But we have a card called Forest of Giant Plants, which is insanely good in this deck. If this is in play, the Stadium card works, you know, if the thing's in play, obviously, each player's grass Pokemon can evolve during their turn. So basically, if you have Yen Mega, Yen Ma Break, if you have Yen Ma down, and you have Yen Ma, Yen Mega, and then Yen Mega Break in your hand, you can just play both of those down and get a turn one Yen Mega Break in play, which is insane. It also works with Vespa Quinn, but you're not really going to be going with the turn one Vespa Quinn because obviously it did end up losing its uh, kind of helpful card. But that's still really, really powerful. So that's what makes this deck really good is Force Giant Plants to get a turn one Yen Mega Break in play. And then, you know, we got two Shamans in the deck, pretty standard, and going into the other items, we got one Escape Rope, Escape Rope, really nice card to play, you can actually force your opponent to bring something up they don't want to and win the game. One Repeat Ball, this is something that I don't think the deck needs, so you can always take this out, but this is nice, because Repeat Ball can get you, say you have two Yamas down, and you get a regular Yamega down, well you can Repeat Ball and then grab another Yamega and put that in place so you can get multiple things going. For two Revitalizers, this is really good in this deck, because it allows you to get back your Yen Megas and stuff, and it can toy around with also the four cards in your hand thing. 
uh, four Trainer's Mail, really nice card, we play a ton of items, obviously. Trainer's Mail is just such a powerful card. Same with Ultra Ball PS Seeker. These are just your standard, you know, cards you'll see in most decks. One Hex Maniac. Um, oh my. And of course, I accidentally removed it because of the stupid keyboard on the mouse. But yeah, Hex Maniac is a good card in this deck because you can Hex Maniac shut off your opponent's abilities. I don't know how relevant it is now um, because of the loss, um, because, well, not the loss, but yeah, because it's like the loss of Aegis Slash and stuff like that, I don't really know if it's that good in this deck, so actually feel free to take Hex Maniac out, um, but we are going to play it to Judge, this is amazing in this deck, so that we can always get the four card hand thing going, a Lysander, standard card, 2N, draw sport, we do play a Pokemon Ranger, it's just a good card to get rid of the different, like, effects that our opponent's going to hit us with, like, you know, uh, I think, you know, it works well with, um, you know, Jolteons, Glaceons, and just other things. Um, I, I can't remember the cards that it works with, but I know it works with some cards, so <laughs> I'll tell you right now. You can keep that. Four Sycamore, draw sport once again. Four Force Giant Plants, right? It went into that. We need that for the Omegas. One Assault Vest. Since we lost stuff like Muscle Band and Fighting Fear Bell doesn't work with this, we're going to go with one Assault Vest just in case we are playing against, like, a special energy deck, then they're going to do 40 less damage to our Omega Break. We do play four Burst Balloon, and I actually like this in this deck because it forces our opponent to have to attack and take 60 damage. And that works well with the Omega here because if we hit him for 120, then, you know, or, you know, whatever, you know, they attack us, we, they take the personal damage, and they have a tool on them, Assault Boom knocks them out, and that can be really nice, so that we do have the 4 Burst Balloon in this deck, it also works nice with Vespaquin to make it do a little more damage in some situations, I really wish Muscle Band was still in the format, it would be great with this deck, but no, and finally we have 4 DCEs to round out, I don't think you need 4, but you never know when you can actually use, you know, 1 DCE, or 2 DCEs even, for your Mega here, and then also we do have, you know, we need it for Vespaquin, so yeah, we do play 4 DCs. So yeah, that is the uh, Mega Break Facebook and Standard deck that I have built on PDC Joe. And let's go to see it in PDC Joe and see if the deck is any good. Alright, let's hop into the game here. I got with the Yen Mega Break deck and we'll see how it goes. So it looks like we do win the coin flip, which is always nice to just gotta make sure I'm recording. Okay, I am. Again, you guys are like, why is that popping up? Well, I'll tell you why it's popping up. Because I gotta make sure I'm recording. So we actually have a really good hand here. It's not really good. Whoops, didn't mean for that to pop up. We got a really good hand. Um, we got the Force Giant Plants and all that good stuff going on. So we'll see what happens. We see a Clef Key. Ooh, just... Wow, oh, that's really good. Uh, we'll put Burst Balloon on. A little Trainer's Mail. See what we can grab. Uh, nothing. Okay. Uh, Clef Key. Okay, I don't even know what the heck that does, to be honest with you. Well, Sycamore, we will draw seven cards. And, okay, perfect. We got that turn when you make a break. We'll just play down a bunch of stuff. Why not? Go boom. We have a really nice hand, too. We can judge him and everything. Boom, turn when you make a break. And like, that's all we can do, so let's just end the turn. That was a pretty nice start. We got the turn when you make a break. Really nice hand. We have a judge. We already have four cards in the hand. We didn't even need a judge, but we're going through anyway. So, there we see a trainer's mail. Grab an ultra ball. Uh, my opponent's probably playing a Xerneas deck. I, I don't know. Oh, so he's going to play a Baby Xerneas, so I don't really know what this is. I see a Fairy Garden go down, that's fine. You see the Ultra Ball. I don't, I can't really tell what he's running. Because he played a ton of different types, so I can't tell this is like a Xerneas Rainbow Road deck, or like some like other weird deck. So I don't know. Or maybe it's actually Mewtwo Y Xerneas, which is a decent matchup, I guess. So he puts the energy onto Klefki. We do see the setup for uh, some cards. Okay, that's for the... Pardon me, sorry. That's fine. Didn't mean to burp there, Kappa. Um, okay. Um, what else is he gonna do? I can't, like I said, I, I can't tell what he's actually playing because I, I can't, like, really pinpoint what he's playing. Like, I can't. It's just like a Mewtwo Y deck or something? Like, what? So, Lysander's up Combi. We have Escape Rope, so it's all good. And we can actually force to bring something up, which is pretty cool. Uh, or we can judge, but I'm probably just gonna go with the escape rope. It's probably the safer bet. Does he play like energy switch to like energy switch the energy onto Xerneas? That's the thing. No, he's just gonna end his turn. And a right, perfect. We got Yen Mega. And we'll escape rope. Force him to bring something up. He might bring up Shaman. But it doesn't matter. If he brings up Klefki, it's gonna get knocked out. If he brings up Shaman, it will survive a hit. So he is gonna bring up Klefki. 
I'm not even going to bother with the Burst Balloon, because he's probably going to Geomancy. So I don't really feel there's a point in doing that. And uh, yeah, we'll just bring up Yen Mega. And we will go with an Assault or Barrier Break. So I almost said Assault, but that would have sucked if we did that. It would knock him out. Knock out this Clef Key, and we'll take a prize card, and we'll see what it is. Burst Balloon, okay. That's fine. Just gonna bring up Xerneas. See, I didn't want to play the other Burst Balloon down, because there's really no point, because... I don't see him attacking me, I just see him going with a basic Geomancy. I am trying to build in Cernia's Break deck, but I can't get my hands on Cernia's Breaks right now, because, you know, I have a lot of packs, but I'm trying to keep most of them, so it's kind of hard to get Cernia's Break, you'd be surprised. So we are going to see a Geomancy, and with this hand, I'm going to be able to play down to four without even judging him, because he only has one card in his hand, so if I judge him, it would hurt us. And oh, just like that. Another thing, we can play down Yanma, and we can go with a barrier break for 100 damage, and just keep up this momentum. Uh, so things are in a good spot right now. We don't have Lysander in our prizes. I was just checking to see if we did, because if he tried to get rid of Xerneas, which he'll probably bring up the other one in Geomancy, but I'm, I'm actually kind of glad he, we got our damage spread out. So he plays another Xerneas now. Can't tell this is like a Geomancy deck or something. See, yeah, we're gonna have to keep kind of limiting our hands down so that we aren't gonna be judging here because he doesn't have any cards in his hand and that's good for us. So we're gonna have to not judge him, but we are fine. I mean, we have stuff like Hex Maniacs, Bursting Balloon, and okay, we might have to do it next turn. We are gonna have to play down our Bursting Balloon. I know we won't be able to attack me, but we have to play down in order to do a hundred damage here. So let's boom, hit him for a hundred. But, oh, wait, we're in such a good spot right now, though. We got two VS Seekers, all that good stuff. So we top six Sycamore, that's actually good, because I probably would have had to have played Judge next turn. So I'm kind of glad he got that Sycamore top deck. You can finally see what he's running. We see a Gardevoir. So it looks like it's going to be a Gardevoir deck, which is interesting. It's one of these Mega Guardi decks. And we see a uh, Trainer's Mail, got him VS Seeker. Okay, it really didn't matter, because, obviously, he's only played a Sycamore, I'm pretty sure. And a Lysander, so I don't know if he'll actually play Lysander or not. doesn't matter if he does. Because Vespa Quinn does have that Fear Treat, and then you have Megas have Fear Treat, so I don't really see a Lysander. So, we do see Gardevoir. I'm kind of glad he only Geomancied to Pokemon I don't know if he'll actually be attacking with all the time. So, I'm kind of glad he did that. We are going to see the Geomancy. Alright, and he's going to put energy probably on Gardevoir, and he doesn't have any energy left from the looks of it. Which is nice. And we can do a Via Seeker, and we can judge him. I did see that Via Seeker in his hand, so now he's not going to be able to use that. So we'll judge him, and ooh, that's actually a really nice hand. Uh, so we can do another judge, we can play Vespa Quinn down next turn, and everything will be all good. So we'll Barrier Break, my opponent, knock him out, and we are going to take our first, or not our first prize, we're going to take a prize card, knock out the Xerneas, and Trainer's Mail, okay, that's fine. Don't know what he'll bring up. Probably the Xerneas with no damage on it. But again, he can actually attack and do Rainbow Spear. So he's actually kind of in a weird spot. He doesn't have any energy left on him. He's going to have to play Super Rod to get some things back. And if he doesn't Super Rod, he's going to be in this awkward... Oh, and there's the Super Rod. Alright. Now, I was going to say, he'd be in this weird, awkward spot where, like, he wouldn't really be able to, like, you know, do much because his energy is all like spread out and he wouldn't be able to do any rainbow spears he'd only be able to use Gardevoir's attack so he does get that super rod which is actually pretty good for him not for me um but whatever all right so we see the super rod coming down getting back some stuff don't know what he'll get back guess we'll see though um, no actually he'll probably get back i'd get back three energies if i was him i wouldn't even bother with the pokemon i just go straight up get back three of your energies because you're gonna need them and yep, there we go. He does get back three energies. I was right. He's going to get them back. And, okay, so he does play Xerneas Break. That's actually going to knock me out. Ooh, that's kind of scary, actually. Yikes. Xerneas Break is actually going to do enough damage to knock me out with Life Stream. And we see a Mega Gardevoir come down. He has no card in his hand, so I can't even judge him. So we're going to have to be a little careful with what we play here. And, yep, there's a knockout. It's only going to take one prize, though, but, I mean... That is three Pokemon our discard pile for our Vespa Quinn, which is cool. Uh, so we'll play him down. We're just going to have to play out this hand and not judge him. And we'll barrier break him for 100. We can knock him out with Vespa Quinn next turn. 
So we'll go with that, and then you can bring up Gardevoir to spare range, because maybe back to I don't know if they want to do that, though, lol. So, yeah, things don't look bad right now, but you never know. Down the road, they might. I don't know. So we're just going to see a live stream, so he doesn't have anything else to do here, but live stream. We can knock him out with Vespaquin, and that will be nice. Or maybe we don't have to. We'll see. Uh, judging by... Okay, we have um, a lot of Pokemon discard pile. Uh, we'll go this. We'll trainer's mail. We'll see what we can get back. Uh, okay, Sycamore, Hexmaniac. Don't need to grab any of that. And we'll just go with a Professor Sycamore. And we can always revitalize her back our stuff, which I might want to do down the road. So we'll play the Sycamore. And okay, we got a weird hand. We can obviously end. Okay, Ultra Ball. That's actually kind of what I was looking for. So grab Ultra Ball. And we'll get rid of Sycamore. Get rid of Sycamore and DCE. We're not going to need that many. And um, I'm going to grab the Omega. Oh, but should I grab Pombi? I don't know. We'll grab the Omega. I should have grabbed Combi so I could play it down and then evolve into Facebook. But I'm going to grab the Omega just to be on the safe side. And we'll go with a B Revenge here and knock him out for 100 damage. And uh, things. He'll probably knock me out with uh, the Gardevoir unless he has a Xerneas. So he does bring up Gardevoir, which is what I wanted him to do. Which is nice to see that he did that. And he does play Fairy Garden down, getting rid of my Force Giant Plants. We see a Max Elixir. And he'll probably get an energy. Oh no, he didn't. Okay, never mind. Never mind. And we see the Seeker for a Sycamore. That's fine. I really want to get Bursting Balloons. Those are really going to help us against this Gardevoir because it does have a lot of HP. 210. And we see another Gardevoir go down. That is okay. Uh, it kind of makes me one wish he actually got that energy on Xerneas so that he'd be really low. Because I know he's low on energies right now. But it is what it is. He's going to knock out our poor little Vespaquin. We do have a Revitalizer, though, so we can always get him back. We haven't lost any Revitalizers, too, right? Okay, no, we didn't. Nice. That's what I like to see. We can end him, too, and everything will be good. I kind of... Okay, honestly, I should have grabbed Combi. I should have grabbed Combi, because I, I, I thought I would have played, like, N, and N would have... I don't know. I should have grabbed Combi, man. That was such a dumb play. I should have got Combi. No, he's bringing up Xerneas instead. Huh. Oh, Xerneas break. Okay. We're gonna have to knock this out with the Omega. So he does bring up our Xer his Xerneas. Only for 120. It's obviously lower on energy, so he does get a prize. And, okay. Hopefully we can get the Secret for Judge. That's what I want to see. Okay, whatever. We'll go with Repeat Ball. Grab your Omega. Put him down. I think we're out of DCE, so if we put this down. No, okay, we're not. I guess. We'll play the DC onto you. We'll go with a. I can't end because I don't think I'll be able to really like go much off of that. So we'll go with that. Oh, whoops, didn't mean for that pop up. We'll grab you Mega Break. Alright, trying to think. We'll play down Combi 2. Burst Balloon. Perfect. That's what I wanted. Perfect. We can put the Burst Balloon down. We'll put Combi down. And we will Barrier Break and knock him out. So he's going to have to attack me with Gardevoir. And he's going to have to discard. He's actually... Wait, hold on. Alright, well, I can't see because the prize card popped up via Secret. Perfect. Uh, one, two, so... Oh, no. So he can knock me out with Gardevoir if he discards his bench. But does he want to do that is the question. We only need one more prize card left to take and we win the game. So I don't know if he's going to go with a Sky Return here. If he does, I mean, I think we'll be fine because then we can just Lysander out, like, the Xerneas on the bench. Or no, we can Lysander out the Gardevoir and then we can hit him with an Assault Boom. Or not Assault Boom, so yeah, an Assault Boom. I keep thinking that a Barrier Break is Assault Boom. I don't know, I suck at this game. I suck at this game, guys, I suck. Um, tornado. Actually, I just realized that's a cool name. That's actually a pretty cool name, Tornado. With the dough. That's that's kind of funny. Uh, so he is actually going to go with a Sky Return here, which is okay. Uh, obviously, the Bursting Balloon is going to be negated from that. But, 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 it's not the end of the world. Because we can do this. We can 
Lysander out his Gardevoir. We can play the Assault Vest on. And we can go with an Assault Bloom for 120 damage. And next turn, since we have a Seeker, we... As long as he doesn't end us. And the FN doesn't give us anything cruddy if he does end us. We should be able to win the game next turn. Hopefully. So I don't really see anything going south. So I think we'll be fine to win the game. We see another Gardevoir Spirit Link. Get more Gardevoirs into play. I want to try this Gardevoir, but it's not really good. It's got to be a better combo with this Gardevoir. I don't know. We'll have to look down the road to see what this Gardevoir would work with. I would assume you'd have to play it with like a really wacky deck. So I don't know. It'd be a weird, weird deck. So we do see the Ultra Ball getting rid of some stuff. Grabbing a Xerneas Break. He can't attack me with it, so it's all good. It's all good in the hood. So he is going to play the Xerneas down, we see the Gardevoir go down, so he does do another setup here. Oh no, he played the Shaman down, so is he going to end me? Hope he doesn't. No, he's going to play Tyreno for three, oh, looks like we win the game, guys. I think we win. That Tyreno was really big for me, because now he can't get rid of this hand, so... Because even if he retreats, we're still fine. He's probably going to bring up Xerneas Braid. But I don't think he has any energy left. So I think I'm in a good spot to win. He can attack with that Gardevoir. So that's nice. So yeah, he's going to bring up Xerneas Break. And yeah, we win the game, guys. Um, we'll do this. We'll do this just to make sure we have stuff in our hand. Vitalizer, get two cards. We'll play the Vespa Queen. We'll VS Seeker. We'll grab Lysander. And folks, just like that, the Yamega Break deck wins the game against the Mega Gardevoir Fairy deck. It was a pretty interesting match, so we can see it before I can actually attack him. Yeah, that's fun. And uh, we'll see what we got out of this uh, mystery box prize. Before we end the video, 25 coins, that's actually pretty good. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit like button. Don't forget to subscribe for more PC Joe videos. Thank you guys for watching. And yeah, tell me what you guys think of the Omega Break deck. I like it a lot. So I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.